Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of Going Medieval. So we're working on that kitchen today and we might send out a few more um, shipments depending on uh, how it goes this uh, season. So we have uh, summer currently and we're harvesting some stuff. I'm not sure if this stuff can actually be moved to cold storage. We might want to try that. And anything that can't be moved, I think we might sell. So yeah, it looks like we have um, quite a bit of vegetables here that will have to be sold or something. I'm not sure. We'll we'll find a, a use for them eventually, I think. But um, the only problem is like actually doing something with them, and we don't have enough larger large enough storage at the moment. We're, we're packed full with a lot of other things. It would be nice to move some of that. I, I tried moving the, the, what do you call it, the meat over here, but it's, it's just, it's too compact. Like, we need more space, obviously, but... Uh, what is the temperature in these, actually? One Celsius, that's not too bad. And spoiling time... One year, that's not too bad. It's summer, day one, so. One year, and that's decomposes, rots in one year and 15 days, so. That's pretty good. Now, if we had, like, three things of ice in each one of these, that would be, probably bring it down to, like, zero Celsius, I would think. So, I think that might work, honestly. But uh, we'll keep an eye on it and see how it turns out in midsummerish. So about day six, uh, we do have a merchant. That's right. So we're going to go ahead and this is the philosopher, guys. Um, let's see here. We do have some gold coins and weapons, so we might be able to sell some stuff with them. Turn off that. There we go. All right. So send this guy over here. And sadly, we don't have a big enough kitchen to host an event for all our settlers and stuff, which is why I want to build a bigger um, dining room area, just so we have more room for everyone. Because they get a negative effect if there isn't, if they're not part of the um, event. So I want to try to fix that as well. That's why the bigger dining room <laughs> it's probably not going to be big enough for when we actually have way more settlers but it'll, it'll be a good start so anyhow uh we're sending this guy over and then we'll um
Great, so we got uh, quite a bit of uh, storage for our beetroots and stuff. I'm just waiting for the um, final harvest for these things. I'm trying to get them all sorted out uh, so we can take some of these. And then we'll do that. Um, yeah, so I stopped production for the beetroots for now. And the carrots, I figure, will probably be fine with what we do have. Um... We're still growing barley, and we're still growing flax and herbs. Everything else is basically disabled for now, so I think we'll be fine for that. Um, they'll be growing that fine. Um, they still haven't planted the apple trees, which is a little concerning because I don't think we'll have any by winter if they don't work on that. But, um, yeah, I'm almost wondering if we should just, uh, cancel out these for now and get them to do that. We'll real enable them once they get the other stuff done. I think that would be the best choice. All right, so yeah, basically we, I just create organized the sh storage a little bit more so we have a little bit more of this stuff organized. So these are the um, apples, uh, red currant, uh, we got the cabbage, beetroots, and carrots. I want to send a shipment of these out right now, so I'm probably going to do about... Uh, I'm not sure if there's actually stockpile over here still. Yeah, there is. Can we lower that maybe? Ooh, I don't know. Let's delete this, actually, for this stockpile. And we'll get them to move that over so we have a better idea of what we're looking at for food. Hopefully our dogs can handle that quickly. But, uh, yeah, basically I want to ship out a carrot and beetroots and the cabbage. And we'll see where that takes us from there. But, um, negotiation... <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, I ain't, I ain't negotiating. Those guys can um, just sit there. Uh, we'll send out our merchant still. Um, we have uh, one day to do that, so we should be able to sort our merchant out. And then we'll just keep them at the location until we can send them back. I think that would be the best course of action. But... Just wait until...
All right, so we're going to have that uh, inbound battle pretty soon. So uh, if I remember, uh, there was a time period after that for when they do do the negotiation. So I'm wondering if we can just send somebody over there and deny it. Um, somebody maybe with a little bit more firepower. Uh, let's see here. Edward, how are you for um, skills? Cruel. Oh, they got a uh, bonus for taming animals. That's cool. All right, uh, let's send Edward over there. Uh, we might need to get back in quickly. I haven't actually done this before. So what we're going to do is we're going to send one of the builders over here and we'll get them to... Um, Basically, if they need to get in quickly, what we'll do is we'll fence that off, right? And then we should be able to get in. But I want to make sure that we have at least a uh, route in if we need to, right? Uh, so I'm going to get him over here. Not down there. Oh, over here. And then we're going to go ahead and uh, send Edward... Uh, he's praying. So go over here. And hopefully we'll have a pretty good uh, chance to get over here if we need to. And we'll see if we can't um, negotiate that particular thing. We have six hours. I'm just worried about the caravan uh, being coming back right at the time where the battle happens. So I'm going to see if I can't speed that process up a little bit more right so uh let's see here where is you at located you're right there so if we have to uh get into the thing we can always go to this checkpoint and break that wall there and then we can get them in that way so we'll have to repair it eventually but it will be still something we'll be able to do hopefully so uh, we don't have many other checkpoints like that built just yet. I wanted to put another one somewhere around here, but that's not uh, available at the moment. Okay, so it's four hours, so we'll see if we can't just uh, deny this. And then we'll get them back into base camp. All right, guys, so we got quite a bit of stuff done today. Sadly, we're not too much because we're low on resources for the, um, what do you call it, the uh, 
stone bricks, but uh, we are making some. I told them to mine some spots. I've been focusing on getting some of this stuff mined out so we can start um, making more of those things. I might send out another caravan sometime tomorrow or next episode uh, for shipping some of this stuff out, or beetroots, and we'll see if we can't get um, some other additional resources shipped out, like linen. Uh, we got quite a bit of linen that we can ship out as well if we go into here. We can see that uh, we have a whole bunch of extra linen. This is not counting our additional storage underwater or underground, which is over here. So we got all that so that we can ship out as well. So I wanted to do that. And um, yeah, uh, we'll do that next episode. We'll see if we can't go to a different faction. Uh, we're doing pretty good progress on that other faction that we have uh, been going to, this one. So we'll see if we can't uh, go to the one back here or something like that and um, get some points with them. I think that's basically it, though. Uh, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video. I have a Discord server, so if you want to stay notified when there is a season selection, you can definitely tune in for that. And I'll be notifying the Discord members with poll and uh, the, um, what do you call it, the... Uh, gaming notifications for the polls as well so definitely tune in on the discord server if you're interested in that there will still be the polls on the community tab i'll be combining the percentages together to get a general idea of what um, the community wants to play so don't worry about one being selected to one or the other it's just you get notifications if you're on the discord server so outside of that thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next time Thank mm -hmm. you.